Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the Cybersecurity Show. In this video, I'm going to go over certain, you know, coding projects that will kind of, you know, give you that edge above the fray, you know, set you apart from all the other programmers out there. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So let us begin, shall we? So what are coding projects, right? There's a whole bunch of definitions all over the place. Well, coding projects are, you know, basically it could be simple applications built uh, you know, by developers, these apps usually have a single functionality, you know, like a to-do list app or a random number generator. These projects are easy to conceptualize and build end-to-end -end as a single developer. And, you know, that's the beginning of most people's careers, right? Uh, it's of programmer careers. So it's the best way to impress potential employers or yourself, right? Sometimes you're doing it for yourself. You know, for example, you can build your own chess game or other interactive games to add to your own portfolio. And, it, you know, it shows your initiative and skill set, right? So what I'm going to be discussing today is real world projects that demonstrate and challenge your skill set. Uh, coding projects challenge you to choose the right programming language for a particular problem, map out the project architecture and implement the features of the app, right? This makes coding projects the perfect introduction to programming in the real world you can build skills through an open source project or by completing coding boot camps you know like I, like i said before you can build a chess game or explore any other uh you know coding projects wh wherever you know but i think i think you're going to be happy with this list that i'm going to provide so before i proceed please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button the first thing we have is the calculator Right? Building a calculator is a great programming idea and it's one of the best coding projects, you know, for programmers, right? It will consist of building a display with digits from one to nine, mathematical operators, and a button that will produce a result on the screen. Carrying out the actual calculation on the back end is quite easy in most programming languages. You will learn how to, you know, accept input from users, both the operands and the operation and display the result of the calculation. You can make the UI very simple or complex, right? Challenge yourself, guys, challenge yourself. The next one we have is one page website. Building a one page website is a good way to start your journey as a web developer or a programmer, whatever you wanna call it. And it's simple enough for you know, new coders or it can be challenging for you know coders with that experience, you know what I mean? So to start off, you will need to build a wireframe for the site. You will need to conceive of each section, its position on the page, and the styles that you'll use. There are many websites that you know you can use as inspiration for you know your very first project or you know a, a, a more experienced project. So more advanced developers can work on things like animations and storing user input. You can even receive feedback by publishing your website and you know asking for advice on web development forums. The next one we have for you is Magic Eight Ball. Magic Eight Ball you know which is a game that uses programming logic which makes it one of the most fun and engaging coding projects for programmers the eight ball should display a different message every time someone shakes it so as a developer you're looking to associate a particular text string with a variable and then randomly pick a particular variable every time a user shakes the ball it's quite easy to implement and it, and it can be fun to play around with the front end design Next, we have calendar and building a calendar application is a fun way to use some of the inbuilt libraries that are available in you know, some of the programming language that people use. Python has a calendar module, for example, which you can use to source data on the Gregorian calendar. There are a few ways that you can work on this programming project idea. If you're keeping things simple, you can build a calendar that displays the current months, dates, and days. To make it more dynamic, you can have users enter a particular month and year and then display the specific month's calendar. So it's, you know, it's a great project. Next, we have Currency Converter for you financiers out there. And building a currency converter is a fun project that tests and challenges your ability to source data from the internet. There are several APIs that let you source financial data, which will come in handy when building your currency converter. You know, it's simple to envision what this app will look like. You start by letting users choose an amount in one currency, 
then you can press a button to display the equivalent amount in a target currency. And then uh, next we have the duplicate text checker. So a duplicate text checker is a good way to learn how to parse text, which is an important skill set as a software developer. The goal is to have a user enter a string of text, then eliminate the duplicate entries. Let's say that the original group of strings is apple, banana, orange, banana, apple. The text checker would parse and eliminate the duplicate entries. So what, is there a project that I haven't said yet that you feel like is better than all of these? Please let me, let me know in the comment section below. The last two we have is web scraping and web scraping is the process of extracting data from one or more or, or multiple websites and building a web scraper is an opportunity to start thinking about data sources and how you can collate valuable data from you know desperate sources. So let's say you want to compare the prices of specific goods across e-commerce websites. You would choose sites from which to source this data and then build an app to display them in a tabular form, making it simple to compare the prices. Lastly, the weather app and building your own weather app can be a fun way to learn how you can program apps that use data sourced from third parties. The data for your weather app can come from an API like the one that open weather app offers. Once you configure out how to use the API, all the data you need is available. You can play around with how you display the information. You could do a very basic design, just displaying the numbers for a particular day, or you could include other features like the ones included on the weather app you probably use, such, such as the graphics to represent different kinds of weather and automatic location detection. You can try to copy those features if you're looking for a more challenging project. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.